Welcome to the stream avatars tutorial. You see uh, Broly walking on the screen. Well, that's me. That's my avatar. And this is what the this extension will let you do as well as any of your uh, followers or subscribers or both if you so choose to uh, do that. So uh, the first thing we need to do is go to Steam. And when we are on on Steam, just type in stream avatars. It is uh, $14 to get, but uh, it allows you to, to do a, a lot of stuff. So $14.99, go ahead and uh, download it. Once it's downloaded, it's gonna be found in your library. Uh, installed, double click it, you will end up on uh, this screen right here. So first thing we have to do is uh, go ahead and click the login details, uh, whatever streaming service you are doing. I'm on Twitch, so Twitch TV. Uh, you need to authorize your channel and then authorize a bot. Once you have these green check marks, you are good to go. All right, so once you connect your account, uh, you want to you wanna go ahead and click on the Steam Workshop page. And this will give you uh, all your avatars you can download. So in order to download, you just click the download button, download Pokemon Generation 1. Yes, for the continue. And then it'll load up. Do you want to import file? Continue. And then it'll say success. And now you have all 151 Pokemon Generations. So you can go in here and uh, just uh, look at the pages and see which ones you want and uh, just click uh, download the ones you want. Uh, there is a uh, 18 megabyte limit, so uh, you may not be able to download them all, but uh, it is a lot of avatars you can download. So uh, just go through, pick your favorite ones. So after the Steam Workshop, uh, my video settings for uh, Streamlabs OBS is 1920 or 1080. If it's not the same uh, canvas size, it's going to look a little bit weird. So if you're using like a 720, make sure you have the uh, 720p dimensions right here. Um, going through here, you can choose who whose avatar um, shows up. So uh, I don't really have that many people watching, so I like to do everybody so everybody can uh, see it. Uh, in chat, you can select the despawn. So if somebody's not active in the chat, um, you can they'll just despawn after a, a certain amount. Max avatar spawn. I have it set at 80. Uh, if I do have 80 viewers. I'm probably not going to have that that many, but it's just there for now. Um, boom, boom. And I want to hide my mouse cursor so people can't see me uh, messing around on the uh, stream avatars screen. Um, this will shout out it and uh, a link extension so people can click it and uh, customize their avatar if they so wish. Uh, like I said, window size. All right, box commands is all the commands that you can issue yourself. Um, boom, boom. Pretty simple. We have uh, bot options. So anybody in chat, if they use these commands, uh, the avatar will either dance, hug, attack another avatar, or uh, issue a fart, which is a uh, pretty cool. Let's select the volume for the fart. Easy. Bomb, bomb. All right, mini games. This also has uh, mini games, uh, boss battles, basketball, battle royale. You can all initiate this in the chat yourself, or uh, viewers can do that. All right. Once so. After you configure all your settings, you need to go to your uh, channel. Uh, so for instance, Twitch, you need to click uh, your little icon and go to um, creator dashboard. And on that, you want to click extensions. And then you want to type in stream avatars again. All right, stream avatars right here. I already have it installed. So once it's installed, you go to my extensions and you're going to configure it and I have it as a uh, panel. So it's right under my channel. Boom, boom. You got to activate it if it's not activated already. So when you go back to your channel, it'll be whatever panel you selected. So 
it's right here. People can uh, change their avatar. So whatever avatar you want to pick, these are the ones I downloaded. You just click it and your viewer will be able to see their avatar float across the screen. Once it is activated on your Twitch channel, uh, this is the um, this is my OBS browser. Uh, so I'm using Streamlabs, but it's gonna be the same for OBS as well. I'm gonna go do a game capture at source and uh, you just make a, uh, a new source. I already have it, so I named mine Stream Avatars. So you're gonna have a, you're gonna have it capture a specific window um, and then you're gonna just select uh, stream avatars. All right. And then you're gonna click allow transparency. So all you'll see is the uh, little pixelated uh, characters and not the uh, whole application. Once that is done on the uh, stream avatars thing, you can press connect. this little screen will pop up and uh, this allows you to you can you can hand you can hand people you can drop bombs on the screen sling you can, you can slingshot people uh, you can add blocks pop 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 uh, you can spawn other avatars you can do stars with those stars people can uh your chat can uh control the character through the uh panel that's below your stream get the stars you can um you can take somebody and pin them on screen and uh within the controls uh you are able to adjust the the size from this screen so you can make them huge you can make them really small just depending on what you want same with the uh with the names you can make them really small or you can make them really big. And then uh, this is just uh, for the name tag stacking. So whatever you want to customize it with. If you enjoyed this uh, little stream avatars tutorial, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll be doing a, a lot more tutorials on uh, all the little things uh, I do on Twitch. Uh, so if you're trying to upgrade your stream, <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.